Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Welcome to another Sunday Stated Tip. Today I just want to do a really quick video on how you can see the first stage of your IV regression results and also how you can add them to your output, especially if you're using STEM. So what I'm going to do, we're just going to get right into it. I'm going to pull in the auto data set. Suppose that I want to do this IV regression where I want to use price on miles per gallon, but I'm going to instrument miles per gallon with weight. I'm going to tr control for foreign. So if I just go ahead and run this IV regression code, maybe I'll make that a little bigger. So if I just run this code, this is all nice and good. But one thing that I don't have is I don't have my F step from the first stage. And when you're reporting regression results from IVs, a lot of time they want to see the first stage F stat. So how can you do that? Well, you can use this E stat command. We're going to say E stat first stage. We're going to run that right after the IV regression. And you can see that this is the first stage summary statistics where you've got the R squared, you've got the partial R squared, but most importantly, you have your F stat right here, which in our case is 145.4 or 0.5 really. And so that's really useful because you don't have to run a separate regression just to get that F stat. It comes out of the IV regress command just with this first stage. And so now that we know that, if you're trying to output that with your results, if you're gonna use STO and STAB, which I highly recommend. I've got a whole bunch of videos on those. Feel free to put in the comments if you're not sure where to find those. But what we can do is we can basically do that same thing where I'm gonna store this as a name IV. I'm going to add this scalar F, which is going to be from this matrix single results. And it's gonna be the fourth thing in this sort of matrix, which is this F stat right here. And so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna run all of that. And you can see that I've added the scalar called F, which is exactly our F stat. And then I can round it when I put it into S tab. But now I'll be able to output that F stat as part of the scalars on the bottom of my regression table. And I didn't have to run a separate regression. So again, just a really quick video showing you how that works for IV regressions. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time for another case of econ struggles.